moved to Oregon from Phoenix in 1971. used to be my apartment up there. That's when I managed the Broadway Review, which is now Higgins. Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh. I'd wear a tuxedo every night and high heels. <laughs> I've been painting since I was 16 and selling my work since I was 16, actually. The most I folded in one day was 95, and that is a lot of cranes to fold in one day. Mm. The Mama P Fund supports children and their families in local hospitals. It's the dearest thing to my heart. Improving the care that they get is not the question. What is, is in question and what they need money for and why I started using the cranes as a project for them is the fact that there are many families who can't afford to come and see their kids. I mean, can you imagine? Here you are and your child is in a life-threatening situation, maybe not going to make it, and you know that, and you... You, you can't go see them. That's unacceptable. Those people saved my child's life. And when he was, he was six weeks old, he would have died. And I lived at the coast, had to drive to get here. They were waiting, it was four o'clock in the morning. It is amazing the staff at Dornbecker is to be highly respected and deeply appreciated. I have a big piece of my heart up there. Having 5,000 origami cranes on the 10th floor, which is the critical care ward in the children's hospital at Dornbecker. Crane sell for a dollar crane. They've been in two local retail stores and they've done extremely well. came into a, a scene of artists that were traditionally painters and illustrators, and you did this crane thing. And you do traditional art, but the crane thing was a little unexpected, maybe. Totally. People were trying to figure out what you were doing. My daughter said, Mom, I'll show you how to, we can make origami cranes. And that was totally the way it started, with 375 cranes. That was it. It started to shake something up inside of me. We had a count party, and then we had 20 people or so show up. And we counted and we came up with 11,111. And it was a triple count. So we counted over and over. Everybody counted, once you'd counted a bit, somebody else would recount it. And then somebody else would recount it. So that we knew we had the right number. It was perfect, 11,111. I mean, come on. No, we're at 25,347 as of this morning. And I didn't count the two that you did yesterday. Okay. They stand for peace and hope. That's what they stand for. So let's translate that now when we need it so badly to being able to have a physical example of peace. The question is normally, what made you do this? The answer is, it's a way I could help, and it's unusual and creative, and it's a way I could help. And it's led to this amazing relationship with the Jubitz Family Foundation, the War Prevention Initiative, and the Rotary Action Group for Peace children particularly resonate with them and many many classes here in Oregon 
as well as all over our country in many countries, classrooms fold a thousand cranes together. So for me, it was became sort of a, a universal approach to peace. Seemed like a way to bring something sweet and pretty and help other people with it. And that's what's happened. Now that I've reached my 25,000 cranes folded personally goal, I'm ready to open it up. The Jubitz Family Foundation and the War Prevention Initiative thought that it would be so wonderful to have every classroom become a part of this and the cranes will be sent to countries and to children in these countries that are torn apart by war. They'll, they'll bring a little color and a lot of the symbol of hope, we hope. I'm 72 now. I'm making this my life's work. There's nothing I can't do now, or any of us can't do. It doesn't matter what age you are. What really matters the most is this. <laughs> the smile. And, you know, put your heart behind it and you're there. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. Thank you so much. You touch my heart. You really do, baby. <laughs> Buddy. Shed you.